Hey, it's time for a fly fishing report straight from the uh, Delaware River. Today I'm out on the main stem. We just got going. It's about uh, 10.30 in the morning and we're in our first riff. Been here about 10 minutes. We already got four rainbows in. Uh, all pretty good, you know, mostly 15 to 18 inch fish. And that's the way it's been lately. The fishing is really, really good if you're targeting the right water. So let's get right to it on the right water. Right now, your beaver kill, willow mock, your lower east branch, your upper east branch. These rivers are very, very low. They all have real good temperature right now. The fish want to eat, but we really haven't had a lot of rain all summer. So, uh, you know, these rivers are really one solid rainstorm you know, away from kicking in and getting really good. So right now, the places where the action is and the places that our guides are targeting right now are the West Branch and the Upper Main Stem. And a couple days ago, they really kicked the release up on the West Branch. It's just under 900 CFS. It's been that way for a couple of days now. And uh, it's turned, uh, you know, the West Branch and the upper main stem and quite a ways down the main stem into an oasis. Uh, the fish in here right now, it looks more like spring conditions than it does fall. Great water temperature, bank full, uh, a lot of eager fish, really, really good fishing right now. Uh, currently, our guides are giving, uh, you know, our clients a combination of nymph fishing and then switching to the dries uh, whenever bugs are on the water whenever the opportunity's there. Uh, yesterday, we had a big day. I mean, we just had fish nonstop over and over again, and we did put five or six nice big rainbows in the boat on the dry fly. There's one, Rick. Rick has one on right now. Um, he lost it. Guy gave us a little jump and popped right off. But uh, so the opportunity is good, both with the nymph and the dry. As for the bugs, you can encounter just about anything right now. Uh, during the course of the day, I'm seeing caddisflies, stoneflies. There's lots of mayflies on the water. Um, isos. There's a lot of, there's still some sulfurs around. There's still some hebes. Uh, you got Cahills late in the day. There's a lot of white flies on the main stem. Uh, there's white flies on the lower east branch as well. Blueing olives, though, are the staple. That's what's around in the, the biggest numbers, and that's the fly that I'm using Probably, you know, 80% of the time I got a size 18 blue wing olive. The fish don't refuse it. You get it over them drag free, they're going to eat it. The other thing I'm doing with the dry fly right now is I have some rods rigged on the boat with our really big custom ISO cripple pattern. And we've been adding four or five fish a day, just uh, prospecting around, getting it in the riffles, and the, the rainbows are coming up and popping it, you know, really, really good. So that's what we got with the dry fly. As far as the nipping goes, I don't vary it that much. I change the flies, but it's still a triple rig that we're using under an indicator. And uh, I got two ISO nymphs on, one of my custom patterns. Also a Zug Bug. It's one of my favorites. It's been around forever, but it's still a great fly. And then a pretty standard generic size 16 uh, pheasant tail. Some days you got to go to an 18, but you fish that rig, you're going to have constant action right now. Uh, staying with the you know, some ISOs and some small pheasant tails. That's that's where you want to be. So right now, oh, Rick just had another bite, but he was uh, asleep at the wheel. What, uh, what you want to do is uh, think about coming up. It's good right now. Give us a call if you want to get out. I expect this fishing to hold up for about a month. It'll be really good with both the nymphs and with the dry flies. And uh, you give us a call, 607 290-4022 or visit our website, baxterhouse.net. Get yourself a trip right now. The fishing's great. And that's about it. Out.